Enough mumbling. Uh, what up, everybody? Uh, Jimbo, why uh, you know why, why can't why can't you uh, why can't you just uh, shoot me a little DM or something? I mean, you know I'm gonna forget. Anyways, series one baseball hobby half case number seven. We're doing that right now. Boom! There it is. All jokes aside, Jimbo, uh, I will take care of that for you. So, Jimbo, how'd you enjoy the Super Bowl or anybody else out there? I, for one, did not. Not because the Patriots won. I, I'm, I'm over that. I knew they were going to win anyway. It was probably the most boring Super Bowl I've ever witnessed. So, Jimbo, you didn't watch the Super Bowl? Good for you, man. That was a waste of, like, four hours. Patriots fans are probably elated, but, man, that was one of the worst Super Bowls I've... I've, I've that was the worst Super Bowl I've ever seen. I've been watching football for a little over 20 years now. So, it was it was not fun. It was not fun. Mind you, I like defensive football. But, you you know, in the, in the Super Bowl... Not so much. You know, I want to see some action. I want to see touchdowns, not punts and field goals. But, you know, the better team won. So it's all good, I guess. All right, well, I refuse to do this thing in an hour. Uh, I realized that my partner, Jason, pack stacks. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. To make this thing go by faster. If I go box by box, it takes me like almost an hour. And that is no bueno. So we're going to speed things up a tad here by pack stacking. I'm going to take all the packs out of the boxes. Then I'm going to open up all the packs. And then I will go through them. It should save us at least 20 minutes. So yeah, with football uh, football season being over, now we can turn our attention over to basketball and hockey. I don't know how deep in the hockey season we are because I don't follow hockey. But I have half a mind to buy a ticket to go watch a Panthers, uh, Panthers game. In hobby, there's one hit per box. Well, technically two. Uh, there's either one auto, one relic per box. Or... Uh, well, actually, I should say, and there's usually one short print per box as well. Um, that's what I've been noticing. I mean, there's usually a uh, a short print, maybe even two in a box. All right, I like, I like that right there. Coolsies. So, yeah, that's why I say two hits. You know, you're either going to get the autograph or the relic. And there's also the short print, which is, on average, one per box in Hobby. In Jumbo, you get one auto, two relics per box. So at least in that one, you know, you're supposed to get an autograph. Dude, I've done, this is probably now my, like, my second case of Series 1 Hobby. And not even exaggerating, in a 12-box case, there's like one, maybe two autographs. And we're talking a 12 box case. One or two autographs in a whole case, that's kind of a bummer. But again, the sweet stuff is you do get a short print per box. So that's pretty cool. All right, so there I have taken all the packs out. Now to open them. Yeah, Jimbo. There, there's a lot of base cards. You know, this is a this is I like to call this a beginner set. You know, this is uh, and I, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody, but this is for like kids. You know, there's a lot of base cards. So, to, and it's a fairly cheap product too. So, I like to call this 
the uh, the, the beginner set, the the baby set. It, it's definitely good for kids. You know, it's definitely a nice introduction to the hobby. Yeah, there's people I know that build sets of this stuff, or you know, so on and so forth. I mean, there's cool inserts. The the stadium cards are pretty cool. You know, the short prints and the super short prints are, are awesome. The hat logo patches are pretty cool. It's just very, very difficult to get an autograph. So how's everybody doing today? Jimbo eating breakfast. I, you know, sometimes I forget that you live in the future. You know, what is it? Uh, Wednesday morning over in Australia. Baseball season going to start soon. Ha, David. That's a good one. But they do, I mean, they do honor them. For the most part. You know, if they don't have that exact card for the redemption... Though, you know, usually give you something that they consider of equal uh, or lesser value. Redemption aside, though, there's cool stuff in Infinity. Very cool stuff in Infinity. And it's not a bad year either. 2016. So Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, Zeke Elliott. Just to name some. I think Juju came out 2016. I could be wrong on that. Nice, David. Nice. I appreciate that, my man. Hopefully, I can get you something nice today. So, the schedule for eBay, well, I'm doing Series 1 Hobby number 7 right now. Uh, after this is done, then we have Revolution Basketball 26. Uh, that's from 2017-18. And then we have 2016 Infinity Football number 60. Uh, and that is our eBay schedule for two days. No, no, it's it's by the, at this point, David is is just it's a habit. And honestly, I, I've I've I'm trying to uh, to just be numb to it. You know what I mean? Because, dude, I, I get that question so much. I get a lot of the same questions every single day. And I, I would like I would lie to you if I said it didn't annoy me. But it is what it is, you know, a lot of new customers and you know, can't be disrespectful to them or 
sarcastic or any of that. You know, you got to gotta build them up to that. What's up, Brandon? Dude, I haven't gone yet. Uh, doctor's appointment is like, uh, like in 10 days or so. So, still haven't done that yet. But thank you for asking, man. Look at that. Somebody cares about me. Or at least, you know, pretend to. How's everything with you, Brandon? Hope all is well. I would lay down my life. <laughs> nah, you ain't got to do all that, man. But I, I, I'm not, it's nice to know that I got a soldier in the name of Rib City, damn it. Live or die for this. Well, Jimbo, it's 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 the first time I've been to a doctor in like years, and you know it's it, I don't have a doctor, you know, so I had to call my 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 health insurance, and I had to, I had to find a physician or whatever, uh, and I ended up getting a list of them, you know, in my area. So I called a bunch of them, and uh, you know some weren't taking new customer like new patients. Uh, others, you know, were retiring, so, you know, the one that I found, I, I couldn't get an appointment until, like, I think it's February 14th or 15th, I think it's the 15th, and this was, like, a month ago that I made this appointment, so... Right, what type of stuff would that be, Brandon? Sorry, we're not accepting any, any new clients, you know. Apologize, we, we regret to inform you. I mean, it's different, though, when you're when you're a physician or a doctor or something, you know. I, I can only imagine the stress that those folks have to deal with. You know, my job is easy, man, not for nothing. I'm, I'm opening up packs of cards and shipping them. Hopefully to the right people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas, you know, you have somebody's life in your hands. But that is true. You know, that's kind of saying, like, oh, we, we don't accept new money. That, that's basically what they're saying. Oh, you know, no, we're not accepting new customers. Oh, no, we're, you know, we're, no, we're not, you know, we're not taking no more money. This is very true, Brandon. This is very true. That's kind of why I haven't gone in a while. You know, they just give you the runaround. You know, they send you to another specialist or whatever. And you still got to pay him, even though they do nothing. But whatever. It's all just a big scam. What I really want, I mean, what I really want to do, and I mean, I already know what they're going to tell me. You got to lose weight, Uncle Jesse. Yeah, no shit. I got that. But help me with my breathing. I think I have like, I think I need like some form of nasal surgery or something, man. Might have sleep apnea, so that's something that's really concerning me. You know, if I if I have to take a sleep study, you know, I gotta sleep overnight uh, at the hospital or whatever clinic or the facility, what have you, so Jason's gonna have to cover for me for at least a day or two, um, so it's, it's really just figuring out my health situation, man, I mean, like, I feel good, but you never really know, man, you never really know, again, like I said, the sleep apnea is definitely the thing that most concerns me, um, I would, I would be lying to you, man. Look, look, man, I've had a f couple of my girlfriends. The reason they broke up with me is because of that. You know, they they, they want to spend the night and they can't because my snoring is just ridiculous. And it's hilarious. It's funny as hell. Until uh, they tell you, hey, I, I don't want to fool around with you anymore because I can't sleep with you. Like, literally, I can't sleep with you. Because you snore so damn loud. And it doesn't help that she used to... Well, she's 
studying to be a nurse and she like she would tell me dude like i watched you sleep and like you don't breathe like you you know you wake up and your your lips are blue that means you're, you're there's a lack of oxygen and blah 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 and she was like really concerned and whatever like we're friends now we just we don't fool around anymore which makes me sad but uh now she definitely she definitely put a little sense of urgency in there for me so definitely definitely got to check out the doctor and see what the uh see what the situation is with the sleep apnea although that wouldn't be a bad way to go out you know die in my sleep ken miller funny you mentioned that because i'm currently trying that out right now um but anyways let's try this out right here I'm done opening all the packs Let's see what we got here. Alright. Now that I got all the packs open, it should be uh, easier to go through. Not, well, not easier, but quicker, for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that doctor's uh, visit. Get my life together. Jonathan Loasiga, that's to 2019. You think so, Ken? The 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 thing for me, man, is I, I gotta. I, I just need to start getting uh, more active, man. Not for nothing, this job is not very active. You know, I'm sitting down for 10 to 14 hours a day. In front of a computer. You know, it seems like all I do is I'm either in the office working or at home sleeping. Luis Castillo, Reds 2019. So I just, I got to make time to exercise. Got to get back on that. Tim Anderson, White Sox 2019. Everything in due time, though. Uncle Jesse gonna get sexy. We gonna get right, baby. So, Greg, uh, how, how, did it change for the better for you? That's my thing, though. Like, I don't want a machine. Like, I don't want a machine strapped to my face. Tuna packets all day. Every yo, it's funny. I tried that dry. I tried that diet when I was a kid. And dude, it works. I'm not gonna lie. That's like that's that military diet right there. Eating tuna and like whole wheat or something, and then wash it down with like beet juice or something. <laughs> but it works. It definitely works. Ranger Suarez Phillies 2019. I've been looking into buying the um, like. There's people that that cook your meals or something like that and they just deliver it to your house every week or so i'm thinking about doing that i mean i spend money on food anyway groceries and you know fast food and all that crap so it's probably better if i just end up doing one of those deals wow greg that's pretty awesome Nah, Brandon, actually, I looked into it, and it's it's almost as much as paying for groceries, man, to be to be honest with you. You get, like, a, a week's worth of food for, uh, for like, $100, $150, and that's more or less what you're going to spend in the grocery store anyway. Only thing is, you know, you have to actually, like, cook your food or whatever when you go to the grocery store, prepare your food or what have you. It's not that expensive. What's up, uh, kids? Play. Private ships would be that would be ideal though. Uh, but no, not, ha have not gotten to that level yet. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway. So, Greg, my man. Oh, damn, this is pretty cool. Zach Greinke to 50. They had logo patch for the A's. Very nice. 
Now, Greg, Greg, since you actually have the CPAP machine, how much did that thing cost you, man? Because, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have sleep apnea. Just, you know, need to get the doctor confirmation, I guess. So I can actually go buy the machine or whatever. So how, mu how much did that thing cost you? Because I'm not looking forward to paying for that. I mean, if there's some kind of surgery I could do... That, like, I think I looked into it, too. Like, they do have surgeries, but they're not as successful as the uh, CPAP. Jeff McNeil of the Mets 2019. In Australia, over two grand? Oh, that's... Oh, that's... That's... Awesome, yeah. I don't need, I'm dude. I don't even have two hundred dollars to my name. That is just wonderful. Old school tops logo on that Rich Hill. That's pretty cool. Dang, two G's for a CPAP machine? Lord of mercy. Man, that looks like a short print. Glebear Torres of the Yankees. What kind of health insurance? Well, 67, so that's a, just a short print. Very cool. <laughs> Brandon, oh, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, that this is true. Kids play. I mean, I, I don't. I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure my health insurance is uh, on the crappy side. But well, we shall find out one way or the other. Anyway. Hoping to see something nice up out of this stuff. JD Martinez, Red Sox, 2019. Got Chris Bryant of the Cubs with the Relic. Eugenio Suarez, 2019 Reds. Oh, that's not too bad. 900. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, they, they, they have, like, flexible payment plans or something like that. So I can pay for the machine monthly or something. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. But let me ask you, like, seriously, Greg, or, like, do you have... Are you Do you have a wife or girlfriend or something like that? Like, someone you sleep with in the same bed? And, like, has that affected, you know, your love life or whatever? Jason Kipnis, Indians 2019? Because it definitely has for me. I'm not even, even going to lie. It's not. Like, how sexy is it? Like, oh, girl, I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. Let me pull out the CPAP. You strap that thing on looking like Darth Vader. That's a short print. It is Kyle Tucker for the Astros.
code six seven. Right, Greg? Yeah, that's that's my thing, man. Girl, it's time to go to sleep, girl. Where my mask at? Ooh, baby, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I like these reprints. These are pretty cool. <laughs> girls are into girls aren't into Vander boys. They might be. I don't know. You, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I don't know. Girls nowadays are are freaking weird. Jake Bowers raised 2019. They're into some stuff. So you know who who knows? You might be right. She might strap that thing off on me and everything. You know? And uh call me Lord Vader or something. I don't know. That'd be kinda hot. That'd be kinda hot. Uh yeah, revolution is after this. Thank you for asking. This is true. At least I can sleep. So, oh no, man. Listen, if if it ever if I ever get into a relationship, it gets to that point. I'm like, listen, girl, I'm gonna sleep in a different room, and that's gonna be that. Heath Fillmire Royals, 2019. Or oh, whatever. Who am I kidding? I need to get me a, a Vader girl. D. Gordon Mariners. That is to 76. Let me put that CPAP machine on you, boy. Go ahead, girl. That'll be like the, uh, the what you call it, the foreplay. You know, she could be, she could be like part of the Imperial Army or something. You know, I'll be Vader. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Shane Bieber, Indians to 50. Put an ad on Craigslist. No, you know, this is true. Very true. I have met some characters on Craigslist. I'll tell you what. So you, you're probably onto something right there. Or I'll make like a Tinder profile, and I'll just take like hella pictures of me with the machine on, and off, and like the headline will be like, "Would you be my Vader girl?" Or something like that. I don't know. Michael Conforto, Mets. As you can see, that is a short print. It's code 67. Your boy's pretty good at catching them. Your boy's pretty good at catching I mean, it, it's not too hard. You know, if, if they're, like, in a warm-up, like, out of uniform, you know, with their hat off or something, it's, it's usually a uh, short print. Joe Pa, you did a sleep study. You stopped breathing 100 times. In an hour? Holy crap. Like, I haven't I haven't done the sleep study yet, but, you know, luckily for me, I have some pretty awesome friends. And, like, you know, like, I'll fall asleep around them or something. And then I'll wake, like, they, we all joke about it. But they tell me, like, seriously, like, like, I, like I stop breathing. And, like, and they all look around and they just look at me. And wait for me to wake up if I wake up. And like, and they all—they've all told me like they're scared as shit that one day I'm just like not gonna wake up. And not for nothing, that's scary. Corbin Burns Brewers, 2019. That Dennis Smith Jr. trade. I haven't seen the Knicks play since they since that trade. I'm interested to see how Coach Fizdale has uh, put those pieces together. I like Coach Fizz. The guy knows his stuff. Rafael Davis, 2018 Red Sox. I think I think Dennis Smith is going to be great in New York. You know, he doesn't have to share the ball with Luca now. 
you know, he again he's running the show. So I think he's I think he's gonna shine. Especially with the bright lights out there. Dennis Smith is a gamer, man. I think that trade is gonna benefit both teams. I'm a little surprised though at Porzingis. You know, I didn't think Porzingis was gonna respond the way he did, basically telling the trades to, to trade him because he didn't want to play for him anymore. Yeah, I'm with you, ba uh, Bass Smith, B. A. Smith, for sure. That that's something that's been going on for a while now, or at least I think so. That is both Indians, yes. That one is not. And it's numbered to 150, so I gotta write on that. I don't know how bad mine is, like. I don't know how many times I stopped sleeping in an hour. Or I should say, I stopped breathing in an hour. I'm I'm really hoping that there's like cuz it's 2019 there's got to be some kind of surgery I can do for that. You would think. Robinson Cano lacing him up for the Mariners. That's a short print. That's the 67. I mean, with as far as the Knicks though, they could have drafted Dennis Smith Jr. So that's kind of a I don't know. I don't know about that trade. I think I do think it'll benefit both teams. But, dude, if they really wanted Dennis Smith Jr., they could have drafted him. Did I go through this stack already? Let's just make sure. It looks like I did, though. I don't know how long it's been since I've done this break. A little about 30 minutes or so. But we're about halfway there. Got Chris Sale, Red Sox patch. I mean, I haven't heard from LeVar Ball in a while. Nice to see him talking trash again. Well, what's the Lakers record now? I think they're out of the playoffs, or maybe they're just clinging on to like the last eight seed or something. You know, before the season started, I had a prediction. I predicted the that the Lakers wouldn't make the playoffs. And at first, it was, look, it was looking like I was right. Then they went on a little run and got up there to like the five seed or something, or I think the three seed. I don't know. Then LeBron got hurt, and then the Lakers went back to sucking. I, I honestly think the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs this year. And if they are, it's a first round elimination. And they'll be they'll get in as like the 8 or the 7 seed, I think. But then there, you know, there is the LeBron factor. I just I just don't think he'll be enough. Not in the West. But we shall see. Have you saw Garcia? White Sox 2019. But as far as LeVar Ball, that guy needs to just shut up. He's not doing this kid any favors. LeVar Ball is... Uh, He's a character. <laughs> he is a character. Otani, Angels Kluber, Indians 
I don't think I don't think any trades are gonna happen by Thursday. Like, did you guys see that offer? The latest offer they made for Anthony Davis, uh, the Lakers to the Pelicans. It's it. They threw pretty much every single body, except LeBron. Max Scherzer Nationals. Just code six seven short print. Oh yeah, kids play the the guy's delusional. Like he he's a genius. Like he has us talking about him, and that's exactly what he wants us like what he wants us to do. So Lavar Ball, like I, I don't take anything he says seriously, but he, the guy's a marketing genius. You know the guy speaks and we listen. It's it's you know regardless of what he says, it's he's a, he's an evil mastermind. Jose Ramirez, Indians 2019. But, dude, the Lakers offered the Pelicans Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, and, like, four, four first-round picks or something like that, and they still didn't make the trade? So I don't think any big trades are happening by Thursday. And not for nothing, I, I don't I don't even think the Lakers should go after Anthony Davis. Like at this point, they you're just you're losing way too much. Caleb Joseph Orioles twenty nineteen. You're losing way too much, and it's not like LeBron's, you know, twenty six years old. The, the guy is in his mid thirties. Like he's not getting any younger. He's got to win now. So I, I don't know. Gary Hampson Rockies. That's the sixty-seven. I think the Lakers should go after Kyrie or something. You know. Or like the Heat right now, you know, B.A. Smith, you raise a good point. You know, the Heat gave up a bunch of first-round picks to get LeBron. And look at us now. We're, we're, we are mediocre with no signs of getting any better. Matt Davidson, White Sox, 2019. Exactly. Kids played. You know, they got big men. You know, they got serviceable big men. Not for nothing, JaVale McGee. He's no Anthony Davis. But he can go out there, defend the rhythm, and grab rebounds. That's what you need from your big man, you know. Uh, same with Tyson Chandler. So, I don't think they should be going after Anthony Davis. Although, Anthony Davis is a mo an absolute monster. But, given what you're, like, what you're giving up to get him, it's not worth it. Like, unless you can get him in free agency, which won't be until not to the 2020, like, offseason, the 2021 offseason. Because AD is still under contract for one more season. Jake Bowers Rays short print. That is code 67. So you really have to trade Anthony Davis. Because he's still under contract. You know, hopefully Zion stays, uh, stays in, uh, in school at least another season. Yeah, physically, I think he's ready. Mentally, I don't think he's ready. But what do I know? I think he should stay behind in college one more year. You know, get more knowledge from Coach K. Work on that. Work on that jumper. Work on his game a little bit more. Maybe drop some LBs. You know, and hit the NBA. The you know with 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 a, with with a. I can't even think right now. Freddie Freeman Braves patch. I like Zion, but I really think he should stay back another season. Right now, he's he's basically a way more athletic version of Ben Simmons, but he can't pass the ball like Ben Simmons. He can get to the rim whenever he wants like Ben Simmons, and he's a, a better finisher than Ben Simmons probably, uh, but you know he, he's not a floor general like Ben Simmons. But they do have something in common. They both cannot shoot the ball. 
So I think Zion should stay back one more season. You know, get coached up a little bit more by Coach K, mature a little bit, and then hit the ground running when he gets drafted. Francisco Arcia, Angels, 2019. Plus, a lot of these rookies, man, it's very, it's, you don't, you don't very often see a Luka Doncic or a Jason Tatum or a Kyle Kuzma who, as rookies, are just putting up 20 points a game. Like, like you just, you don't see that very often. Usually, you know, they come into the NBA one and done. You know, it takes them a couple seasons to get good. Sam Tui Vailala, Mariners, 2019. Say that five times fast. But yeah, my Heat suck because of that trade we did for LeBron way back then. Well, well, you know, maybe that was a business decision, kids play. Maybe they bought those houses and they're renting them out to porn stars or something. That That is a thing. That's what I would do. But not necessarily rent it out to porn stars, but rent it out, you know. Make money that way. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't read too much into like, Oh my God, Kawhi and AD are both coming to LA because they bought houses in LA. Like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they, I don't know. You like them, uh, them Vice City colors we got, huh, Bass Smith? They, yeah, they, 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 yeah, they nice. They nice. It's a shame that our team is not. But we shall see. Scott Shebler Reds, twenty nineteen. As long as Pat Riley is running things for the Heat. I have complete faith in that man. Time and again, he's put us in, in in positions to win. So, in Pat, I trust. Hopefully, we can make a trade by the trade deadline. I would love to get rid of Hassan Whiteside and Tyler Johnson if possible. Their contracts are just ridiculous. Ryan O'Hearn, 2019 Royals. You know, Kyrie Irving has said uh, that he would like to play for the Heat. So I, I don't think he's going to come back. I think he might uh, be leaving the Celtics. I think the Heat might pull off a crazy trade. Carlos Rodon, White Sox 2019, get Kyrie Irving this season. And then uh, in the offseason, sign KD. Woo! I'm dreaming now. I'm dreaming now. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad trade for the Celtics. We give them Whiteside, Tyler Johnson, and like James Johnson or something. Or Wayne Ellington, you know, because they could use some shooters, and Wayne Ellington is a, is a freaking sharpshooter. We give him up for Kyrie you know, and, so, and a cup of coffee or something. I'll make that trade. Who is this guy? Henry Chadwick, the founding father of baseball statistics. Yeah, I'm going to random that. Another old school Topps logo here, as you can see, top right. For Yuli Guriel Astros. That's cool. This is a half caser, kids play. This is a half caser. I don't know why Jason wants to uh, punish me so. I don't know what I've done. What have I done to deserve this? That's in a short print. Jose Abreu of the White Sox. To 67. I know it's a dream. I don't. I don't think KD's leaving Golden State either. I mean, why would he? You know, he already tried to be the man with the Thunder. That didn't work. Then you know he had Russell, and that didn't work. 
So what you know if it's if it's not broke, why fix it? Stay in Golden State, keep winning championships, because you know there's no team that's even close to to contending. At least in my opinion, you know maybe if a, someone gets injured here or there, maybe. But when they're at full power, that team's unstoppable. Nobody in the NBA can beat the Warriors when they're at full strength. Nobody. Like, it's not even close. It's 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 ridiculous. So I don't I don't think it's a money thing. Cause KD gets his money from endorsements and stuff. You know, he's still signed to Nike, so that's a nice little fat check that he's getting. You know, I'm sure he has investments outside of basketball or whatever. So money, I don't think, is, a, is an issue. Legacy most definitely is. So if I'm KD, why would I leave Golden State when, you know, I have an opportunity to continue to win championships here? Pedro uh, Strop of the Cubs 2019. I don't think I don't think Clay's leaving either for for the same like I don't I don't see why anyone on that team would leave when you know you're not gonna have a better chance to win a championship anywhere else. Trevor Bauer Indians 2019 unless it's financial. Like there is no reason why those that team should be taken apart. Like not even money like because. I'm pretty sure they'd be willing, you know, Steph Curry seems like the type of guy that he's willing to take a pay cut to keep, uh, you know, uh, a Clay Thompson or something. Uh, and I'm also pretty sure that KD will do the same. You know, restructure the contract, take a little pay cut to keep Draymond and Clay and everybody together. Hell, I even think Boogie Cousins is, is going to come back and re-sign with the Warriors. But we shall see. Oh, there's an autograph. That's always nice. Brad Keller. Rookie autograph for the Royals. Number 21 of 25. Very nice. Very nice. Aaron, I don't think it's financial, man. These guys are these guys are already multi-millionaires. At some point, like, when you have that much money, like, does is it really financial? At that point, I'm trying to win championships. Tyler Skaggs, Angels uh, to 2019. You know, I've made my money. I got my tens of millions of dollars. I want to win. But, you know, that's true. When you put egos into into the equation and blah, blah, blah. You know, after a while, you get, you know, you grow resentment for people. And, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Just from the outside looking in, I it just it wouldn't make sense to leave. Unless you're trying to get paid and you want more minutes and stats and whatnot. Put that aside, what's up, go Pats? Kevin Durant in New York would be cool though. I miss the old New York Knicks Miami Heat rivalry, so he would definitely uh, liven the things up in New York. <sighs> What's up, Jeffrey? Knicks? Well, what do you think about the Dennis Smith Jr. trade? I, I like Dennis Smith Jr. I think he's going to do well uh, for you Knickerbockers. You guys got a lot of good pieces, man. Kevin Knox, Mitch Robinson, Alonzo Trier, and all three of those are rookies. So I think the Knicks have a nice future. And they got a really good head coach. You just, just got to give it some time. Go Pats. Give it some time, and the Knicks will be back in the playoffs before you know it, man. Especially if they can make a big splash in free agency this offseason. If they can somehow end up signing KD and Kyrie. Man, Luke Weaver Cardinals to 2019. The Bulls are another good young team. You know, they have Laurie Markin in. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr., who's nice. Chris Dunn. Uh, 
that kid that won the dunk contest. He's been balling. Zach Levine. It's just they're just young. Whoa, what happened to my computer? Well, this thing must have took a nap or something because the screen went off. Oh, I see. So you're a Patriots fan and then a Knicks fan. <laughs> well, that's cool. You know, you, you balance the winning with the losing. You know, that's, you know, that's, I can understand that. You know what's funny? Jordan could probably still average like 20 points in the NBA. Given how soft it is nowadays, I have no doubt Jordan could put up 15, 20 points a night. Moogie Bench Red Sox short print to 67. Sox Ben Intendi. What the hell? Okay. Gary Hampson, Rockies, 2019. Uh, I really wish that he could make a move, man. We got a, we have a lot of good players, so somebody's got to be interested out there. Uh, Aaron, that would be the understatement of the year, my friend. That would be the understatement of the year. You know, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. You know, I can't go nearly as fast as Jason. That man is, there's a reason they call him the Cardboard Jesus. You know, I am but a witness that that man is on another level. Kyle Tucker, 2019 Astros. But I'm doing my best, brother. I'm doing my best. Did you guys see on ESPN, they started comparing Michael Jordan and Tom Brady? Like, who's the greatest ever? Like, seriously? Like, like come on. Yomer Sanchez, 2019, White Sox. Like, you can't even... Com like, how are you going to make that comparison? Like, they don't even play the same sport. Like, things... It's just... It's getting ridiculous now. They must have nothing to talk about. That's probably what it is. Oh, who's better, Tom Brady or, or, or Michael Jordan? Who's the real GOAT? They, they don't... They don't even play the same sport. Like... What are you talking about right now? But if I had to choose, I'm going Michael Jordan. Brandon Crawford of the Giants. Short print. Code 6 7. Yeah, they both got six rings. But you know what they say about MJ? He's never lost in the in the, uh, in the finals. He has six rings and six finals MVPs. Not for nothing, but Tom Brady played like crap in this last Super Bowl. Either he played like crap or the defense was pretty good. Maybe a combination of both. 
Mike Trout, Angels 2019. And, you know, football is way more of a team sport. You know, it's, it's really difficult for one player to determine the outcome of a game when you have 11 other men on the field on your side of the ball. You know what I mean? It's a lot more difficult to affect the outcome of the game with just one player, even if you are the quarterback. Whereas in basketball, literally one player can determine whether you're going to be a lottery team or you're going to be contending for championships. So with that being said, I, I think Michael Jordan... There was a quote that I read once, and, and I, f I forget where I read it. It was on the internet, but I forget it was an article or something I had read. And I'm paraphrasing here, uh, but it went a little something like this. Uh, so some dude was, like, conducting an interview, and he was like, Oh, so, you know, if I had to, uh, like, let's say an alien comes down, and he wants to, to know, you know, the, all the greatest feats of mankind and whatnot, so homeboy goes, if I if I had to show an alien what the epitome of mankind was, like athletically and, and, and physically and like, you know, all all like competitively, all that stuff, Michael Jordan would be the, the, the human specimen that he would show to the aliens. And when you think about it, that's 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 a pretty crazy statement. Like show me the best of your of your kind. Oh, pff, easy, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I thought he was an alien. All right. Anyways, we gotta random these. I'm gonna random these. Uh, I'm actually gonna give these to the same team because why not? All right. These have to be random amongst all play uh, amongst all teams. So we shall see. I agree with you on that one, Gopats. I, you know, I feel like as time goes by, Michael Jordan is kind of like a, a, a what you call it. He, he's kind of like a, like a myth as time goes on. Like people seem to forget just how much of a dominating player he was on both ends of the court. All right, so we're gonna go seven times in the random. Michael Jordan was just. On a different level. So is Brady. Don't get me wrong. But Brady is playing in the softest era of football. You know, could you imagine if Joe Montana played in this in this era? Or Dan Marino for that matter? It'd be crazy the amount of championships they would be winning. Again, it, it's I'm not trying to uh, to demean Brady and his accomplishments or anything like that, but... It, it is what it is. All right. So, we're going seven times here. Top team wins these two cards. That's true, Nick. That's true. I forgot about the, the whole Space Jam situation. Blob, this is true. That's why, you know, I started off with Joe Montana. But if Dan Marino played in this era, I guarantee you he would have at least one Super Bowl. And the money shot seven. You know, you can't you can't even touch the quarterback now. When Dan was playing, you know, you, you could still clothesline the quarterback and, and and that was cool. Now you can't even you can't even breathe on them and they're gonna call it, you know, roughing the passer. Automatic fifteen yards or whatever. Yeah, that's that is true, Brad. That is very true. You do have a point. Alright, so that is that for that random. So the Vintage baseball glove going to the Rockies, and so is Mr. Uh, Henry Chadwick. So there you go. Now for these, for these uh, specifically, I only have one of each. All right, so it's either going to go to the left or the right side team. Uh, uh, but with these other ones, as you can see here, I have multiples. So I have, you know, at least two or three of each. There's a team on the left, a team on the right, all right? So this random is going to be very simple. I'm going to roll a die here. It's either going to go to the left side team or the right side team, all right? If I roll an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. So that's odd left, even right, 
Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Even number two. So it's going to go to the right side team. So this will be Rockies, and this one will be Braves. Rockies. This one will be Braves. Mind you, this card is numbered to 150 right here, going to the Braves. All right. And like I said, with these, it's going to uh, one of each. One for the Nationals, one for the Reds, one for the Red Sox, one for the Angels, so on and so forth. Uh, so on and so forth until we uh, run, out of, run out of them. All right. Done deal there. All right, so let's recap the rest of this stuff. Uh, starting with our patches, we got Benintendi Red Sox, Freeman Braves, Chris Sale Red Sox, Chris Bryant Cubs, and uh, Zach Grinke of the D-backs, numbered 46 of 50. It's a pretty cool card. I like the hat logo patches. We do get an autograph, Brad Keller. Rookie auto for the Royals, number 21 to 25. And we got short prints. We got Crawford Giants, Betch uh, Red Sox, Abreu White Sox, Guriel Astros. This is not a short print, but it does have the old school Tops logo. So that's got to be a variation of some sort. Uh, Bowers Rays, Scherzer Nationals, Cano Robinson, Conforto Mets. Tucker Astros, Glaber Yankees, and again, uh, Rich Hill, the Dodgers, with the old school Tops logo there in the corner. So that's it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out.